Hey guys, it is Andrea and today I am coming at you with my setup for my Valentine's Day. I, I don't even know if I keep putting TN in the title and they're actually rings, but I'm using a personal wide Pele Studio um, glitter spine. Like, look at this. If you are debating on a Pele Studio planner, please click check out. Uh, I'm not sure how her order, ordering process is. I feel like I always miss it, but she does post that on Instagram. She did so kindly send this to me. We did do a swap. I sent her a bunch of kits um, that she she kind of gave me like a general theme of things she likes. And then she sent me this planner along with a purple TN that I gifted to Emily just because it really screamed Emily. Um, but I love this planner. I love the glitter spine. A lot of people have asked like if it flakes. And as of like late, if I ever find one, it's like one itty bitty tiny little flake but nothing wild um and I think it's a really well made planner and I just love the way this came together I did replace the um the ring mechanism with a gold one I just bought it off of Amazon for like 12 bucks so let's go ahead and flip through this bad boy it is using my Valentine's Day TN kit which is rose gold and then also my Galentine's Day mini TN kit which is recolored Galentine's Day art that is exclusive to our shop so I love this let's go ahead and get into this I think this might be my I don't know I feel like this honestly I don't love rose gold but I feel like this might tie my magic setup like I feel like it's pretty good like I'm really enjoying it um Let's go over the side area. So what I did this time is I really like things in pockets, but I feel like they're always like going all over the place, a la this pocket here. Um, but so what I did this time is I took the regular piece of paper and I actually um, roller taped the sticky note on there and I could totally, if I wanted to take these off, which I might, this might be a planner I leave set up like this, um, which is a rarity. I've only ever done that with a magic one. And then I just stuck this sticker sheet back there and I also put a die cut on there so it looks like it's all just like sitting there perfect. Um, the sticker sheet's from Sadie Stickers and then also this um, is from Simply Gilded, which I loved how vib vibrant that pink color was in my little pocket area how's my battery almost dying? i had 40 percent um i have a die cut the lipstick die cut i have my little washi card this is the red shimmer washi card with some of the washies that came out that match the whole valentine's day scheme <coughs> sorry and then i have the city stickers little heart I did cut out a little piece of acetate that says happy valentine's day and slipped it in there as like a little protector and then I did put the bow bookmark in the back. I did punch it already for the rings, but I didn't know where I wanted it. So I just placed it back here. I have the pen um, die cut, which is so cute in the pocket. And then I have this picture of me and Mark. I printed them all out on my like Instax printer um, and did them in black and white. Ala Jusenia, um, and then put some of my little photo corners, which this is from an unreleased sheet, and then also this heart, which is also from an unreleased sheet, coming soon. I have this rose gold wide clip that Amanda gave me, and then I did actually put the collab washi with mine and Marg's bows, and it's like Marg's bow, my bow, so cute. Then over here, I do have a um, acetate, and it has the letter A that Jusenia sent me in rose gold. I like putting these on acetate so I can reuse them later. Um, I don't know when I'll do a rose gold setup again, but when I do, I'll have it. And then I have this paper here with one of the girls on there. And then I like to just put, like, die cuts in the back here. I don't really love, like, there's only a couple that have, like, die cuts on the front, but I feel like kind of spicing up the back is nice. Then I have this vellum that comes in the kit with a bow tab. I just put the bow seals on here. My camera died. But like I was saying, I have this vellum <clears throat> with the bow seals on top. I only marked three sections. Did I even put the other sections in here yet? Maybe I did, yeah. Um, I only marked three sections and I didn't have really a rhyme or reason. I just marked them. I'm actually coming out with new tabs for the next one that I'm actually really excited about. Like, really excited about. Um, but I did go ahead and print. I think all of my inserts are from Justenia. Um, the planner sophisticated just any printables. I did go ahead and print this pre-plan page. I think she has it just sized as a single B6, I think it was, or something like that. But I just went ahead and printed it to like scale like the same directions and then just cut it to a different size um, to fit this planner. Well, this would be really good for planning out my week um, or like weekly checklist things I need to do or whatever I um like write down what I want to put in my memory planner that'd be nice and then in the same section I do have a monthly which I'm not sure 
I'm going to keep this in here. Um, but this has like a note and then there's like January and I marked it off with some washi that I will like, I'm using like the Valentine's for January and February. Um, as of right now, I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to stick to. And then I'll probably move into my next TN kit for March and April, I think. So it'll kind of be like a bi-monthly switch, I feel like. But I'm not sure if I'm going to use these for anything functional or if I'm just going to leave them in here. I also did randomly put like whatever bow seals I had left over on some of the pages, like this page here. And then this page here, I think I'm going to put a picture of me and Jessica, like a Polaroid. I just wanted to get like a really good one during the holidays. And I just have some die cuts from the kit and then also a vinyl decal from um, the Fox and Pip on there, which is like a pink glitter mini one. I put another die cut in the back and then I was just, I was kind of experimenting with this, but I don't love the way it looks. It's just putting the bow over the title, but this is the list. Also, if you've noticed, I did print like double-sided. Honestly, I was just being lazy um, and just print it this way rather than like cutting it a different way. Um, but these are her lists and I really like these because you can like subcategorize your lists. So usually I have like a couple different lists going, whether it's like um, personal and then like if I have like a party I'm planning or whatever I can have a different list for different things and then over here I do have some pictures of Bennett and Nick I'm fine with like that being in here the Bennett picture because he is wearing sunglasses and a bow's covering his face so you can't really see too much of him um, but and I'm not going to flip this over like without the bows but I did use some washi I used the you and me die cut I do have the acetate on top and then I did embellish it with some of those foil stickers um this is a picture of me and nick at disney and this is a picture of bennett in his pajamas holding one of my gucci purses with his like sunglasses on i just thought he looked so extra and most like his mom then on the back i have a little latte one of the foiled um die cuts and then i have one of the vellums from the kit then this is the important dates which i like using for youtube schedules and i just have the 2019 i just went ahead and printed the 2019 because i am going to be using my winter planner until 2019 um my just setup which i i feel like i might leave that one in that planner too i'm just gonna have a bunch of planners a bunch of setups in them and i have a bow seal i love this bar cart i actually might bring an extra one of these home and then just put it in my office because i think it's so pretty like recolored in the valentine's day art got some popcorn in there but i really love this um i love i switched the like paper for the journaling cards and it's I think it's a little bit more expensive but I like love it it feels like a fine print like I just love the feeling of it, it kind of matches the paper um yeah I feel like it matches the paper but I love it it just look I feel like the colors are better I feel like I like how matte it is I just really like it um but super into that then over here I have my name letter I think this was from Annie possibly and it's in a pink glitter vinyl and then I have some die cuts back here. I have another one of those bow seals. I liked putting these on the vellums. I feel like it was easier and it looks nicer than putting them on here. Um, but I thought that was pretty cute. Then I did print out this, which I don't know. Do we have random washi on here? Uh oh, wait, what? Oh yeah, 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 okay. So I printed out November to December. Obviously most of November has passed. So I went ahead and just took out what has passed and i'm probably going to use date covers so i'm not sure like how exactly i want to use it if i want to just like kind of play with stickers in here and like this side and then just use this functionally because i really like how this is set up um for like weekly everything like i could put what i'm releasing over here i could put my to do's over here my schedule for maybe like youtube up there um just use different things for different different stuff and i could do like payroll um I don't know, whatever, set alarms or whatever I have to do um, in here. And then maybe I could use this. I mean, I could use this totally for, like, different works things I did. But I think it'd be fun just to have, like, another little section that I could play with stickers in. So I had to print this out. So this is, also I didn't mention, this is just personal wide. It's not personal wider. I don't really know why I decided. Oh, I think, because this planner, it goes, like, right to the edge with the personal wider. So I didn't really, like, love it for that. So just went ahead and printed that out. I'm not like super like diehard needed. Then I have another bow seal in the back of here. I have this acetate. I might add a picture to this one. Maybe like print something out. Um, or I might just leave it. Because it's okay to have a couple that are like a little bit more simple. Some die cuts and seals in the back. And then I have this note section. Which I went ahead and kind of embellished with the washi tapes. 
just gonna give a little something something um, I normally use this for my new releases every week I write up a list of um, new releases things that I need to um, list and then so I write the list down like right after the new release video I go through and I write down everything I'm releasing I have like a different like organization for like future things because I do like change my mind a lot um, as far as what I'm releasing so I write down like what I'm releasing in categories so what stickers I'm releasing what, what collections and then what foil items what wiggles on top um, and then if there's like foil items I'll write like how many of them I ordered or like the size depending like you know if I already did one that has a similar size then I don't need to write that down but or like if it's TN kit how much it weighs um, but that's what I usually use that for but I might try and put that in the weekly section who knows then I have a foiled seal back here and another one of these vellums because I really liked this, this um, I mean acetate, sorry. I'm never going to get that right. Um, one of these fox and pit bows and I was thinking I could put another picture. I don't really know what, maybe, I don't know, maybe a picture of me and Avery, me and Kirsten. I feel like me and Kirsten have like no pictures together. We never prioritize pictures, but I think I have an occasion we could take a picture at. Um, then we have some um, die cuts over here that are foiled and then I have a monthly that has checklists on the side again not sure what I'm gonna use this for I kind of just printed out a bunch of different um inserts Jesenia has a ton and they're all so beautiful that like I'm like I just need them all and they're just so fancy and I like my planner to like have like some thickness to it not like busting at the seams but just a little thick again I could put a picture here or I could just leave it blank again it's okay to have a couple that are like chill um die cut and um seal and then I did my last tab on a vellum and this is the shop project section so I like this for my um what was I using this for Hold on, let me open up my other plate <clears throat> I was using this for like projects like bundles and things like that because I could kind of write like a synopsis over here and then I could do things I need to do like ordered and then like maybe like I think I was doing like how much things cost down here just so I could keep an eye on that um in this one so this is the um pro shop projects and then this is the last dashboard so I did the happy valentine's day um acetate with a bow seal and then I did the xoxo card on the side I have a munchkin bow in red glitter and then I just put a bow here and then this is the sh releases tracker and I liked this for mysteries. I do keep like a list of mysteries like in my phone but as far as like the names of like or like the themes I guess but this is nice so that I know like what like if I ordered the art when I received the art when I designed the kit um, when I ordered the foil, when I, whatever else I need to order, um, it's all in there and then I can go through and check because sometimes I'm working on like multiple, like right now I have up till February and then I think within the next two weeks I'll have March and April. So it's, sometimes they have a lot of things going on and you know, other bundles and things like that. Girl needs to keep track of this stuff because the one month I like didn't keep track of this and I was like got down to the wire and I was like, I didn't order a fun extra, but that's a different a different thing and then I have a picture of the queen because you know she goes so cute and then I have um washi some foil stickers and then I did use this from the Villa Beautiful um what was this from her I don't remember what kit it was maybe December one or something but I thought it was cute because I had silver with the little rose gold bow I have a pen gems pen here and then this was lettered I think by Lauren of Rose Color Days maybe and it's pink with glitter. I'm trying to like recognize everyone's handwriting but I'm not very good at it. And then I just put a die cut here. I feel like my front and back pockets are where it was lit this like setup. I feel like like this and then this was where it shined. Um, and I do like how many inserts I have in here and I can't wait to like start filling them out. And I also love this rose gold. I love how like everything's super cohesive with the rose gold. Um, I'm just super psyched about like the tan kits I have planned for the future. It's just gonna be so good. So over here, I did just throw this donut in here. I did have it in here, but I liked the bar cart in here. I thought this was really cute. Actually, the bar cart would look super cute here, but ooh, can I want to change that? Can I? Let's see. So I did go ahead and tape this down, but this was an old $75 freebie that I just had laying around. So maybe I can put that here. And then put the bar cart here, and I could use the tape still. 
Oh yeah, that's cute. So just I'm peeking there, but that's fine. And then you have the little bar cart, which is so cute. I love the bar cart. We do have it in a vinyl, which is that's what it is. But I just have another piece of paper that kind of just like makes it all work. Then I have a picture of me, Irene, Cynthia, and Mark. And I just thought this was such a cute picture. We do our little stack um, when we have a picture op. And then we have this die cut down here again with those rose gold um, clips from Amanda. And then I did just like put this donut in a stack and just stuck them in the pocket there. So that is my Valentine's Day TN setup. I'm super excited about it. Again, it's using mostly, there's a couple of other like random items like the CD sticker and the Simply Gilded, the pen loop, the pen, and the clips I think aren't in some kind of kit. And like any random vinyls I said for some for some were from somebody else. Um, but everything else is from either my Valentine's Day TN kit, which is the Big Daddy one, or the Valentine's Day mini kit, which comes with two journaling cards. These are double-sided. Oh wait. I'm actually meant to do that listing wrong and made it cheaper. Well, happy everything. Um, I think I actually thought that it was one journaling card and then one foil journal, like one double-sided and then one journaling card but it's actually two two double-sided journaling cards and one foil journaling card plus all the other uh, things so my oops but I'll just leave it at the the cheaper price that's fine you guys you guys are cool um but yeah so there is the valentine's day the galentine's day and then those couple other items and all my inserts like I said are from Jesenia shop which if I remember I'll link down below if not she is the planner sophisticate on instagram and also uh Jesenia's printables on etsy so that is everything I am in love with this setup again I don't like rose gold but it's probably I don't know magic was pretty sick but like I feel like the like shining star like I said is this front area and the back area that really just does me and you know what I mean and the rest of it's just like simple but it all is so cohesive with all that rose gold so I hope you guys like it oh and the planner again is from Pel Pele Studio um, it's gorgeous I would definitely like set your alarms and get one um, Jessica normally asks me like hey like you know is it worth getting X and I'm like no Jessica you're not going to use it but uh, she asked me hey should I get a Pelle, Stu Pelle Studio rings and I said yes and she was like oh dang I actually do have to get it now and I'm like yeah you do so it's beautiful I hope you guys liked this little flip through it was really fun to set up it actually took me a really long time um, but I love it and I wouldn't change it for the world it's just so beautiful but uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you guys in my next video so Bye. now we were on day four. Oh yeah, all of these are all in a random order. Because day eight was on top here. So um, now we are on to day 17 or day four, depending on 12 or, 18, or 25 days. So this looks like some little labels here with some stars in the dream colorway from the Giving Girl. And then, let's see what's in here. Then we're on day, like I said, 17 of the Scribble Prince Co. Advent Calendar with the collab with Once More With Love. Excuse me, I'm filming, filming these all at once, so I feel like all the names are starting to blur together. So you have a brown card with a bow, and then you get some sticky notes, which I loved this art, so I was like, I need to make some sticky notes with it. So that is super cute, and I'm really excited to use those finally. And then let's go on to the 12 days. So this is day four in the butterfly planner advent you got a cat boxes so it looks like cat like half boxes sheet then on day four of the hello simple paper advent there is a purple bunny um kit purple bunny prints it's on matte paper and it looks like a mini kit so there is that and then for day four of the advent for the Harry Potter themed advent there is a little bow clip like a little crochet bow clip and then for the advent for I like this one this one's super pretty Irene does like great packaging this is really cute for day four of the advent for simply gilded it looks like we got ooh! She you Oh, I'm gonna take it out of the packaging. I still, every time I get a freaking magnet from Simply Gilded, I'm like, <gasps> I need to make sure I get some kind of something to put this on, and I never remember, but this is gonna make me remember. It's a magnet with sparkles. 
Emily said that there was something she gasped about and I don't I feel like this might be it but it might not be it because I feel like me and Emily gasp about different things but this is beautiful the sparkle in here is like hollow it's not hollow it's like a, a duo shift I feel like whenever I say it's hollow and it's not I get like crucified so I'm not doing it but there is the conclusion of day five that magnet is probably my favorite thing it's beautiful